Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you today's Android home screen tutorial. Today I'll be featuring the screen of the day called Pull Down by Gary Arts. Now you might be thinking, why is it the screen of the day? Why is it called Pull Down? Well, I'm going to show you right about now. Bam! All I can say is wow about this home screen. It's got these cool, calm, collected blues as well as this fancy battery widget at the top inspired by XNEC. But the one thing that sets it apart about this home screen is its pull down effect. Touching the top arrow here brings out extra counters as well as more icons. All these icons open up different apps such as your phone, got your music, really, really cool. As well as this neat little app draw at the bottom making things really nice for you. This tutorial is gonna bring you from a stock Apex launcher all the way onto this amazing screen. I'm gonna go a bit slower this time, so please leave comments to see which is better. Let us begin. Okay, I've just had my yogurt, so we are good to go. First, we'll start off with our Apex settings. We'll tap menu and go to Apex settings, followed by home screen settings. And I'll provide all the home screen settings over here that you can follow step by step so I don't have to go into each and every single one of these might make things a bit quicker next will be our dock settings all you have to go to do is go into hide dock that's our apex settings done now you'll see that you have two screens so we'll change that by going into wallpapers quick pick wallpaper now what you want to do is to go into the Dropbox link at the bottom you can even do it on your phone and when downloading it you'll download your the pull down zip file extract that onto your phone and it'll come with everything that you need so you don't have to worry about a thing coming back to the wallpaper we'll find our pull down folder right here and there is our wallpaper now because we have said multiple screen scrolling it'll look like this wide one and fit nicely if it's only one that means it's single screen there we have our two screens so next we're going to be adding in our clock at the top now we want to download UCCW widget for this. It's a free app from the Play Store. So you want to get that first. We'll hold down and go select widgets. Followed by scrolling down to UCCW. Now for the clock we want a 5x2. Provided that you've copied everything onto your phone, you'll go open user and look for where you've downloaded it to. I'm guessing it'll be in downloads. If they will have pull down. And let's go for the pull down clock. Now for your first time installing, it won't come up with this, but I'm just gonna go with yes. Yours will just open up nicely. So we'll touch here, like it says. And there is our clock with our battery. Amazing battery, by the way. So now we wanna resize that by holding down and selecting resize. And we wanna do it for this side as well. So we'll do the exact same procedure. I'm not gonna show you because it's exactly the same. Okay, and there we have both clocks and widget battery widget like that. Next, we'll be adding in our icons at the top as well as over here. So for that, we'll go into our app drawer. So first we want to add in our app drawer. So let's hold down and go Apex Actions and go App Drawer. Now we want to put that down at the bottom and do it onto both screens. Just adding it like that. Now you'll hold down and go Edit, select the icon go select picture go quick pick and you'll go to pull down and you want that one with the little white dot circle and it'll appear like so go edit again do it for this side as well go quick pick go to the dot again okay so we'll go into our app drawer now we want our icons so let's start off with our phone our gmail and let's go for whatsapp now i'm just going to add in the rest quite quickly because yeah you don't need to see me adding each one of these icons bam now we have all our icons for whatsapp you can also add in messaging it doesn't really matter as long as it's some messaging application now we're going to be changing each one of these so we'll hold down one of them and go edit and tap the phone go select picture and do the same thing quick pick go pull down now you want to select the one that looks like the phone like that awesome icons right here we'll do the same for Gmail. Now the cool thing about Quick Pick is that it opens up virtually on the same place so we can add it up quite quickly you get into a little rhythm and you just keep going like that do to both sides and I'll come back to you. 
bam and there we have all of our icons one screen two screen next we'll be adding in our UCC weather skin over here now the reason why we added the icons first and the widgets second is a common thing that always happens to most people I'll show you right now we'll go widgets UCCW we want a one by one for this one now if you've already opened it and you want to reopen it again I'm not going to go open use it but now you can scroll down and you want the pull down weather so we'll tap it as you can see it's a bit small but now we get to resize it so I'm going to resize like that now if you had wanted to put place the icons over it, something like this everything is going to jump around and it's going to get haywire that's why I always place icons first UCCW second now you can go simply center back and nothing will get in the way you'll still be able to tap your phone and it'll work great you'll do it to this side as well so we'll hold down and do the exact same thing great once we have our weather widget we we'll want to add in our notifications at the bottom of this so we'll do the same we'll go hold down widgets and do the UCCW but now we want a 5x1 so we want a 5x1 so you'll go open use it and look for the one called called counter because it's gonna count things for you yep that's what UCCW does so we'll tap that as you can see it looks a bit crazy up in here so let's uh, let's resize it first drag all the way like that but now you can't really read what it says that's because we have our Gmail not set up so we'll go into it edit, and then let us you go select object Gmail now you'll go scroll all the way across you want to go accounts select your account and then choose your label whichever one you want go back and there we have it remember to edit something on UCCW simply tap it and it'll open up like that if you want to know how to create hotspots see the link over here great finally you want to know the most important thing about the screen and that's jumping from screen to screen so you don't even have to swipe like this what you'll do is hold down and go apex settings screen 2 if you're on screen 1 and scroll across to screen 2 and go apex actions screen 1 like that you want them in about that position go edit tap the picture go select picture quick pick go pull down and you want the first screen you want the down arrow like that you'll see it'll fit quite nicely now for the second screen you go edit do the same thing go quick pick and you want the X yeah go OK now this is tested out boom 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 pull down achieved if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below thank you very much guys for watching this tutorial hope you've enjoyed it and please check out mycolorscreen.com for more of these amazing home screens as you can see Gary Arts is on a roll so go check out his videos as well as the other many others on this channel thank you very much guys